Hello, my name's Lara Brotherton and I'm the author of the Ultimate Navigation Manual. In today's short video I'd like to show you how to make a bracelet out of paracord. Paracord is a technical rope that is phenomenal to carry as a piece of kit. Once you've carried it you'll wonder how you existed without it. And on my wrist I've got nearly three meters of it in a decorative bracelet. To make this bracelet, I'm going to show you the tools that you need inside. Very simple, it's very quick, but also you need a plank of wood. And on this plank of wood, you've simply got to screw two screws about 300 millimeters apart and leave them around about 20 millimeters above the surface. So let's go inside and make what I believe is the ultimate paracord bracelet. Okay, to make this bracelet, you're just going to need these few items. You're going to need a screwdriver, a pen or a pencil, couple of screws, short length of um, paracord or string, that's just going to secure it when we've got these screws into the board, uh, a buckle or a shackle buckle, I prefer the shackle buckles, um, they're much stronger, much more durable, and a tape measure. So I've put my screws in the board about uh, 300 millimetres apart, I know that my wrist is 8 inches, so from the bottom screw I simply measure 200 millimetres, which is 8 inches, up the board. And that goes to here. And that's going to be the size of my paracord bracelet that will fit my wrist. I then take the D ring and the shackle, which I've just taken apart here as you can see, and into one end of the shackle, this part here, I pass a piece of paracord, short paracord or a piece of string, doesn't really matter. This is just going to secure this to the top of the board. And I put an overhand knot. It doesn't have to be complicated. And don't tighten it as yet because we're going to adjust this to get the size. So as you can see, the size will be between there and there. So I'll tighten that to about there before I start to tighten it. I'll give it some final adjustments in a minute. Then I take the paracord, which I'm actually going to be making the bracelet from, and I pass it through the end loop here. And then again, I just find the centre of that, and I simply do that by taking both ends, pulling them equally. And there's the paracord centred. With the other end of the paracord, I'm going to feed this through the O-ring and secure it under here. So I just take the two pieces of paracord, feed them through there, simple as that. And now that is secured to what I would call my rig, if you like. Now, something important here. You'll see that um, this was my 8-inch mark, and I'm slightly off it. Now, I've got adjustment in there, but I'd actually bring that down so it's actually running parallel with that. So I'll do that now so it's a more accurate length. And the reason I've used an overhand knot is these knots are very easy to adjust without uh, major fussing. So that should bring, it does, perfect. Yep, that's on board. And what you want to start when you start making your um, paracord bracelet is to have your rig looking like this. There. And that's worth, um, it's worth studying for a minute just to make sure that you've got it set up correctly. And we're simply going to lay it over the top here, like that. Now I'll tighten that up and I'll show you. I'll just put it through. So it's going to look like that. And then I take the left rope and with this I pass it over the top of this piece here, underneath the two that go down the middle and over the top of the one on the right hand side. So I'll repeat that again. I take the left hand rope, I pass it over the top of this top rope, I go underneath both of the middle ones and then I go over the outside right there. And again I'll start to fasten that one up. And Once I've done this, the next two steps are the only steps that we repeat to keep making this bracelet. So I'll start to tighten that a touch. There we are. 
and I'll now show you the next two steps that you just keep repeating. Take the left hand side rope and feed it over the outside left cord, under the middle two cords and over the outside right cord. I'll pull that down. And you can have something that looks like that. And then stage two in this repeated process is I take the top cord which was left on the right here and I feed that under the outside right and through the space that I've created there pull it up because it's going to go over the middle two and then lastly it's going to go under the outside left one and again I'll start to pull that tight start working your bracelet so it's tighter pushing this up pushing that up and then I'll repeat the process I take the rope on the left I pass it over above the outside left under the middle two and then over the outside right pull that through then I take the top right hand rope and I pass that under the outside right through that space that I've made over the middle two and under the outside left and as I pull that two you'll now see that this is actually starting to take the shape of the braiding of the bracelet there we are, that's quite clear now Okay, I've worked my way down to the bottom of the rig here. The bracelet's almost complete now. Little tip here is when you start to put these ends of the paracord through the little eyelets that you have there, it's quite difficult. So you can temporarily just lift it off the rig here. And I'll feed through on the outside, go underneath the middle two, come up through there, pull that down, then take the top left cord up through over and she's almost there now if I put that back on that's almost there I think I'd actually get another one through if I tried which I will go through the outside and uh, the middle two pull that taut go under here there we've done it put that back on the rig now through there okay the bracelet, as you can see, is finished, and the second little tip here is that I'd like these two to finish on the same side where I'm going to seal them, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Take the bracelet and force the weave up the actual strands that hold it so you get more space, and take this cord, the cord that is going through this eye here, and feed it through there, the same one that that's going through. You see how those both go through the same underneath this outside left piece here. Put it back on the rig and then bring your knots that you squashed up to the top there back down. There we are. Start to shape the bracelet so it's even all the way down. And now what I would do is I would cut these here and I'd seal them in a naked flame because when they're cut, rather like here, it means that if I take off my paracord bracelet the whole idea of carrying it is that any time I want I can deploy this all I have to do is push this knot back through and then simply unravel which takes about five minutes I then have three meters of paracord which I can use for anything from broken shoelaces to securing a tent as a guy rope so here's the one that we've made. Take it off the rig, undo the overhand knot at the top, and you have then created a bracelet that's got 2.8 meters of paracord in it that you can fasten, or the other way, that you can then fasten onto your wrist 
It's actually quite a neat looking uh, piece of kit. Worth knowing. <laughs>